world's largest snakes. How does everyone out there feel about snakes? Honestly, they're one of nature's most divisive creatures. Some people love them and keep them as pets. They can become an inseparable companion and much like dogs, considered a great friend by their owners. Of course, there's many of us who are freaked out just by watching a video about them. It's hard to blame the latter group when some of the world's largest serpents we're about to get into, like Australia's inland Taipan or Africa's black mamba, are also some of the most venomous. Stick around, if you have the nerve, to discover the largest snakes on the planet. But before we start the video, we'd like to throw an epic shout out to Brian George for his insightful comment on our largest prehistoric sea monsters video. Whether I sound like Kermit the Frog or Eric Foreman from that 70s show, I've gotten that as well. All that matters to myself and everyone else involved with epic wildlife is that we're entertaining you guys while also teaching you a thing or two about nature and wildlife. We hope you enjoy the video, Brian. And if any of you can think of anyone else I sound like, let us know in the comments section below. Now let's get to those snakes. Titanoboa. Let's start by flexing those imaginative muscles. You're gonna have to, because our first snake is the largest known to ever roam the planet. There's just one problem. It's been extinct for over 50 million years. The Titanoboa, who's related to both anacondas and boa constrictors, was over 40 feet long and weighed around 2,500 pounds, dimensions that dwarf its biggest modern day relatives. It's a good thing for us this terrifying creature isn't around anymore, and today only exists as this one does, as a display at the Smithsonian. Their fossils were first discovered deep in the coal mines of Columbia during an expedition of international scientists in 2009. Inland Taipan Australia is full of absolutely horrifying creatures, like say, the Sydney funnelweb spider, or the infamous saltwater crocodile. Here's one more animal to add to that list, and this one can go pretty close to the top. The inland taipan is from the semi-arid regions of central Australia, and just wait until you hear about its venom. It was first described twice in the late 1800s, then for the next nine decades it became a mystery species that seemed to have disappeared from existence. It was finally rediscovered in the early 70s. Now, back to that venom. It's the most lethal in the world for humans. Estimates say that venom released in just one average bite is powerful enough to kill at least 100 grown men and can take an individual out in as little as half an hour. Luckily, they don't come in contact with humans very often. They're also very shy and reclusive, preferring to leave unseen and without a fight, if at all possible. They average six feet in length, but can reach over eight feet. All right, so we've seen big, scary snakes in Australia, Africa, and one from millions of years ago. Now let's go check out a snake endemic to Asia, the King Cobra. The single longest venomous snake in the world, King Cobras measure nearly 19 feet long. They can be seen and probably best avoided in forests throughout Southeast Asia and into India. However, their unsavory reputation, like many snakes, is entirely unearned. Like the inland taipan, the king cobra would rather not confront humans. Sometimes, as odd as it seems, we purposely confront the snakes. There is a ritual in Myanmar that ends with a female snake charmer priestess kissing the top of the cobra's head. Uh, did we mention they're venomous? Not only that, they can deliver doses of venom through their fangs that can be fatal to humans within 30 minutes. These same doses have been known to topple elephants in a matter of hours. Apodora. With adults measuring in at over 17 feet in length, the Apodora, or Papuan python, can rival almost any snake species in terms of length. They just don't weigh very much. Sure, they're long and have a great amount of strength, but they're fairly gentle creatures. They hardly ever bite, even when handled, and adapt very well to captivity, where they have been bred with success. Reportedly, the Apodora's color changes when it's agitated. Medusa. So is there an individual snake out there that's known as the world's longest? There sure is. Medusa, a reticulated python, owns the record for being the longest snake ever measured in captivity. Appearing in the Guinness Book of World Records, Medusa was 7.67 meters, or 25 feet 2 inches long, when she was measured in October of 2011. She's owned by a production company in Kansas City, Missouri. Though they're not venomous and not considered dangerous to humans, there's been at least one instance of someone being eaten by a reticulated python. Great swimmers, the snakes have been known to colonize small islands within their Southeast Asian range and have been seen far out in the ocean. They're really long, but not as thick as many snakes, like one we'll get into in a little bit, the green anaconda. When comparing two of the same length, the green anaconda can weigh up to twice as much as the reticulated python. 
Burmese python. As likely to be found slithering around a tree branch as they are to be lurking on the ground near water, the Burmese python is native to South Asia. On average, wild individuals have been recorded at just over 12 feet long, but especially long specimens have approached 20 feet. They've become an invasive species and something of a problem in Florida. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 likely destroyed a python breeding facility, allowing Burmese pythons to escape into the Everglades. Over 1,300 have been captured in the years since. In areas where they've become established, rabbit and fox populations have been decimated. They are typically dark brown in color with blotches of black, though there are rare cases of albino specimens, like this one at a zoo in Japan. We'd be remiss at this point not to mention a similar snake, the Indian python. They have nearly identical color schemes and reach the same general dimensions, but they're very lazy and slow moving in nature. African rock python, the single largest snake in Africa, the African rock python has been known to exceed 20 feet in length, though they're around 11 feet long on average. They thrive in a variety of places, from deserts to forests, though they do require a nearby water source. For food, they eat things bigger than themselves, like antelope and even crocodiles. Their hunting method is notorious in the animal kingdom. Like all pythons, they literally squeeze the life out of prey before unhinging their jaws, opening their mouths wide, and swallowing victims whole. Female African rock pythons are more maternal than most other snake species. They're known to protect their nests and sometimes even stick around to help their hatchlings. Like most of these snakes, the African rock python is widely feared, though it has plenty more reasons to fear us than we have to be scared of it. Not yet an endangered species, they are threatened from a lethal and common combination. Though they're not yet an endangered species, they are threatened from a lethal and common combination, habitat loss and hunting. Green Anaconda For what a fearsome reputation these creatures have, it may be surprising to learn that they are non-venomous. While they may not be as long on average as some of those python species, they are, as we briefly mentioned earlier, much heavier. The heaviest in the world, as a matter of fact. They average out to around 16 feet long, and while their average weight is unclear, specimens have been known to exceed 150 pounds. Fanciful reports have mentioned anacondas reaching lengths of 40 feet or even longer that prompted a $50,000 cash reward being offered to anyone who could produce such a snake. The reward remains unclaimed, and our feeling on the matter is that a snake of such proportions only exists thanks to Ice Cube, Jennifer Lopez, and the magic of Hollywood. Endemic to South America, the green anaconda is the largest snake species in the Americas. Scrub Python Australia's largest native snake is thankfully and somewhat surprisingly non-venomous. Snake enthusiasts prize the scrub python for its beautiful coloration and sheer mass. As you can see from this one slithering through a home in Queensland, they get really long. Some reports stayed up to 27 feet in length. As is the case with many serpent species, females tend to be much larger than males. While males only weigh in at around 11 pounds, females typically weigh around three times as much. They're also found on many Indonesian islands. A typical scrub python diet consists of small mammals like birds, possums, and even bats. When people find intact sheddings, they're often tricked into thinking the snake must have been the length of the shed skin. In fact, the snake is significantly shorter than its shed skin. The skin folds on top of and below each of the animal's scales, causing it to be much longer. Boa constrictor. Younger boas are adventurous. They like to climb trees and get into shrubs to forage. But, as with humans, age dulls this childlike nature. As they mature and become heavier, they turn into completely terrestrial beings. Though they're found throughout the Americas, it's interesting to note that those from Central America are known to be more irritable, hissing loudly and menacingly, while striking over and over when they're bothered. They're very solitary creatures preferring to live alone and only seek the company of fellow boas when they want a mate. Again, a characteristic that they share with many humans. Yellow Anaconda Though it's smaller than the green anaconda, which is a close relative, the yellow anaconda, with an average length of 11 to 14 feet, is still one of the world's largest serpents. Like all boa species, the yellow anaconda doesn't have venom and strangles the life out of its prey. It's found in southern South America in Paraguay, southern Brazil, northern Argentina, and Bolivia. There is also a small population that's been introduced in Florida, though no one's sure if that group reproduces. Experts surmise that this latter population came from escaped pets. Oddly, this makes the yellow anaconda the second species of snake on this list, along with the Burmese python, to accidentally be introduced to the state of Florida. But did we really need that information to know that weird stuff goes down in Florida? On that note, we'd like to thank all of our loyal subscribers, including and especially the ones from Florida, for joining us on our journey through some of the planet's most ridiculously large snakes. We're sure your opinion of the creatures didn't change, but hopefully you enjoyed and learned something new from the video. Farewell, and be careful out there. But first, check out our top creature.
The Black Mamba. The head of the Black Mamba snake resembles a coffin, a foreboding image that could also act as foreshadowing for anyone who gets close enough to discern its shape. One of Africa's longest snakes, with specimens growing close to 15 feet long, is also one of its most venomous. In one test, toxin found in Black Mamba venom killed a mouse in under five minutes. The venom can cause humans to collapse in a half hour, and without effective antivenom therapy, it's lights out in half a day. The snake can lunge from surprising distances to attack, and strikes with great speed and accuracy, sometimes biting repeatedly in quick succession. Speaking of speed, some think that the black mamba is the fastest moving snake on the planet. Myths saying it's faster than a galloping horse or a sprinting human are exaggerated, but estimates that it can travel at an impressive clip of 10 miles per hour for short distances are likely accurate.